demonstrate my incompetence, so if I can find my own presentation on the screen, and then everyone sees how you interface with Microsoft in a different way. So good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you so much to the European Commission for this excellent invitation to address uh, the critical topic that we are all engaged in. And also, uh, thank you to all of you sitting in the back row in the dark to uh, stay awake and engaged. I appreciate that we have a form factor in this room. We also have a time factor, and it's more important for you to interact and mingle with uh, your peers. So I'm going to be very brief. The previous speakers, uh, thank you Ian, Damien, and Andrea, they have set the policy agenda. My comments will put this in an economic and business context to help you understand why your engagement and your activities are so important to particularly young people, but indeed the entire age bracket across uh, Europe. Our sector represents 5% of the GDP, the gross domestic product of Europe. We represent currently 3% of employment in Europe. And we represent 26% of the business expenditure on research and development. The ICT sector is a more important engager in research and development for future technologies than the automotive industry, than the pharmaceutical industry, and this is something that is underappreciated. And I also thank the IPTS, who you will see their reports on your way out the door, as an excellent source from the Joint Research Council of an objective view on the importance of our sector. And as was said by previous speakers, it is very critical for us to push this message to decision makers, policy setters, and agenda setters in the member states. We have with Nini Cruz, a fabulous ambassador. She's a great uh, proponent of our message, but we need to uh, elaborate that message at the member state level with the presidents and the prime ministers, but also at the local and regional levels in all the decision-making bodies. So we thank you very much for your engagement in that sense. Now, we are an important uh, economic component in our own right. As also was mentioned by Ian, ICT skills are necessary for a citizen, for a business uh, owner, for an employee, or for a consumer to engage in today's society and to be an active participant in today's society. And so that's why the skills and the competence are so necessary. They are also critically important for people to participate in the jobs and growth that are there. Now we often speak of the economic challenging times in which we operate and every day we read in the newspaper of the crises in the various uh, sectors. The ICT sector is a growing and dynamic industry sector. We have a growth rate of 12% per annum, and there are few industries in the world that have such an economic growth. Even China's economic growth is uh, you know, about the same as our ICT sector here in Europe. So double-digit growth, which means that we are creating jobs we have hundreds of thousands of jobs to be created in our sector over the next five years. And with the youth that is unemployed in Europe, it's very important for them to match their existing competencies with the ICT skills they need to become active in that growth. And so again, the activities of your initiatives in the member states and in the local communities is very important. And again, we heard some good examples. Again, all of this, why it's important in Europe, because we have growth in Europe and we have jobs being created in Europe, but this is also, as we often read, about the importance of the European competitiveness. And for this, I would invite you to look on the internet at a recently published study by McKinsey, a world-leading consultancy firm, the McKinsey Global Institute, who have published a very important piece of research that illustrates why the internet is important. It has some critical data points that you can use in your argumentation in your uh, 
activity and your advocacy work in your local community, and I would encourage you to look at that report. So, as we have said, our sector is important because we represent uh, an important part of the overall GDP. Our sector is deeply engaged in all the other sectors, enhancing the facilities and the capacities of other sectors because ICT is in everything, in all product development, irrespective of the industry sector. And therefore, having the skills of people to be engaged as citizens, whether they're 70 or 7, for them to be engaged as consumers, and for them to be engaged as economic actors, whether they're in a small and medium enterprise. Uh, we have data to show that small and medium enterprise with e-skilled employees grow twice as fast as small and medium enterprise who are not on the web. And also in the administration uh, domain, in the government sector, also good illustrations from previous speakers why those e-skills are so important among the, uh, the public sector employees and at the highest level, the e-skills awareness of the policymakers, the acceptance of the uh, agenda by the policymakers will enable us to move forward altogether. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, I thank you for your attention and enjoy your coffee.